Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is episode 5 of the NHL 20 Franchise Mode here with your Chicago Blackhawks. And the last video, we went through the Winnipeg Jets like fucking clean butter slice. Uh, we struggled at the start of the season, losing 3-1. to one. It was a close game there. And then we lost 3-2. to two, And then Robin Lehner came in. And he was just a madman. 5-1-4-3-6-2. He just came in there and really kicked some ass. And we've been seeing a lot of players really stepping up for the Chicago Blackhawks. Of course, one of them is Sammy Vatanen. Eight points in six games. He's been a big-time player. Taves and Marlowe have also been big players. And Nylander coming back from his injury was also on fire. In five games, he's had uh, in five games, had five points. He's been a madman for the Chicago Blackhawks as well, which, surprisingly enough, we never thought that he would be kind of up in that level of that type of hockey, right? We would thought he was just going to be kind of like a meteoric player, but no, he's been stepping up and being an absolute madman for the team, which is great. It's what we want to see from Nylander. I mean, it's a nice contract that we get out of him for the next couple or for the next two years which we're going to need since we don't have very much money. But even defensively, I mean, you take a look. The defensive core is stacked with that plus three boost and stuff like that. So this team is overall looking very, very, very well. Uh, Robin Lander, we're going to stay uh, stick with him in net. He was very consistent in the playoffs, 3-0. I know it's a 9 and 276, but we're going to trust him against the Dallas Stars. And if shit does go wrong... We could go back to Corey Crawford, who had a one and two record. So, I mean, Corey Crawford just let bad goals in at bad times, and Robin Lehner has been a good goaltender when we need him to be it. So, we're going to be going up against a very strong team in the Dallas Stars, offensively at least. Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, and Corey Perry. Uh, they're also missing out on Alexander Barkov. We're going to check uh, how long that injury will be, but they're very good depth wise. I mean, you put back in um, Radulov, I mean, you've got Perry, Pavelski, and then Yanmark, and then your, your depth is looking pretty deep here in Dallas defensively I mean they could have some big boost but I mean it's definitely not the best looking defensive core in the world and in goaltending you got Ben Bishop as their starting goaltender so very even goaltending between Robin Lehner and Ben Bishop two very great offensive teams I think we have that greater defensive edge against them which is a huge bonus on our point we will be starting in Dallas so let's get a good start to the series they had a best of seven series we had a best of six. We have more. We have more of a, a breather to digest. So let's jump in game one against the Dallas Stars. Let's get off to some a good momentum swing, okay? I mean, right off the get go, the first shot of the game, Zach Smith gets a huge goal, and that's halfway across the fucking ice. What the fuck, Zach Smith? A fucking goal halfway across the ring. Zach Smith buries it. But Corey Perry comes back and gets a big goal for the Dallas Stars. I cannot believe where Zach Smith fucking scored that one. That's a fucking embarrassment for Ben Bishop to start off the game. Second period, 2-2. Two two. Johns and Patty Kane, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Big old Patrick Kane with a big goal for the Chicago Blackhawks. It is tied 2-2 two two going into the third period. Can we get that goal to just kind of bury it? I mean, that would be awesome, but, I mean, the first overtime in the first game, I mean, I, I won't complain about that, and Matthias Janmark, but Drake Kajula comes back, baby, my boy Kajula gets a big goal for the Chicago Blackhawks, and we will be going to the first overtime of the episode right off the get-go, man, that was quick, that didn't definitely did not take very long to see that, we thought, we, oh yeah, we'll probably not see a fucking overtime game, maybe my voice can take a break today, but no, Right off the get-go, we're getting right into a game right off the get-go, which is going to be fun. First game right off the get-go, Drake Kajula gets a big goal. I mean, it's definitely been a contest between the two teams right now, which is exciting. Getting a quick drink of H2O before I start doing commentary on this shit, because I know this is going to fucking kill my throat, but... Let's get into this. I mean, we got a good team coming for us. Drake Kajula, that was a huge goal from that man right there. So let's see if we can keep up that momentum for the team right now. DeBrin gets out there to take up face off. Let's get this big start off. The oh, great, great start off. Look at the passing right now between the guys. Keith making some beautiful passes. Pass over to Strom. Batten, and he gets picked up by Tyler Sagan. Great chance. But Batten has the speed. Ben, great chance. And Robin Lehner, he makes a huge save there on Jamie Ben. Klingberg now has it. Pass down to Perry. Over to Sagan. Great chance. And Tyler Sagan buries it in the back of the net. I mean, we started off a little bit hot. But Dallas Stars, they took the momentum right there and then. And, I mean, that's a deadly line between Sagan. Um... 
Uh, fucking Ben and uh, Corey Perry. It's a deadly line. The Dallas Stars takes game one. I mean, that was a very quick overtime. Thank goodness. But, I mean, not thank goodness for us because Robin Lehner, that was, that's a rough start for Robin Lehner. I think, uh, I don't know, man. That was a rough game because we had the lead and then he gave it up. And then we had, I don't know, man. I don't know. Robin Lehner had a rough start. I think we're going to go switch over to Corey Crawford and uh, switch things up because that was a rough game by Robin Lehner. I don't want to get too down in the series. And, I mean, I don't know, man. We'll give Robin Lehner one more chance. And if he really does get shit on again, I think uh, we give it a little bit of a change up and we go back to Corey Crawford because that was rough by Robin Lehner. That was definitely not the best game that we hoped to see from him. It was uh, uh, definitely a goal-scoring fest in this one. But, I mean, we were ripping on Ben Bishop anyways. But we need to see some more capability of him being able to save some pucks for us in this series because Dallas Stars, they're going to they're gonna definitely outscore us for sure. We definitely need to be able to play that good defensive hockey if we're really going to want to stay in this series uh, against the Dallas Stars. And, man, back to a point per game, man, he's been ridiculous. So let's get back in this game. Robin Lehner, we need you to be here tonight. We need you to be here. We need you to save us some pucks. So first period, one nothing, right off the get-go, Martin Hansel. Come on, boys. Second period, 2 to nothing, right off the get-go, Corey Perry. Right in front of the net, too, man. That's rough for Robin Lehner. Not having a good showing tonight. I mean, we're getting dominated. We're getting decimated. Oh, my God. Vasca gets a goal for Dallas as well. Yeah, looks like Corey Crawford's going to take back his job here, man. Yeah, that's 4 nothing. Five to two. Gus San Marlo gets two. I mean, yeah, that was that was a done deal. I didn't even want to watch the rest of that game. That was fucking oh my god. Five goals. Robin Lehner just gets decimated in the net. That was definitely not a game for Robin Lehner uh, to see. This is why I like having two good goaltenders on a team like this right now. Is you get to see the both of them. I mean, Corey Crawford, his days are numbered here in Chicago. But, I mean, you really get to see that development um, for Corey Crawford. So, buddy, this is your last playoff push with us, man. Let's make it a good one. So, big game against the Dallas Stars. If we lose this one, we're in Chicago. The fans are going crazy. If we lose this one... I mean, it's a done deal for us. So first period, one nothing right off the get-go. Adam McQuaid, oh, that's rough. Second period, 2-1, to one, baby. Seabrook and Alexander Nylander gets a big goal. Sharp corner shot on Ben Bishop. But now we just, oh, when Tyler Sagan buries one on the power play. And he's been lethal. And Jamie Oleksiak gets a big one for Dallas. Yeah, that's it. Matthias Yamark gets another big goal for the Dallas Stars. And yeah, the goals are just a pouring in by Dallas, man. No matter what we're doing right now for Chicago, just as, yeah, it just seems like Dallas just is able to pour on the goals, man. No matter what we're seeing, Dallas is just outscoring us, outshooting us, everything. We start off good. We have that little bit of momentum, and then they just really, they take it. And uh, we're starting to lose some games here, boys. It is We're having a little bit of a rough patch. That first line has been a struggling. I'm thinking maybe change shit up on that first line, but I don't know who to fucking change up. I mean, Taves, Strom, Kane. I'll go with Taves and Kane. And Nylander, DeBranket, and Patrick Marlowe. I think that will be the first, uh, the second line there. Uh, Keith Vatten and Gustafson. I mean, he's good up on that first pair, but that's going to... Ooh, Vatten plus five with fucking Bogosian. Hell yeah. I think that's what we're going to go for there. Is Bogosian with Vatten and Gustafson with Duncan Keith. Let's go for that. Let's see if we get a big dub here. Let's see if we don't get swept by the Dallas Stars. I mean, if we do, we do. We know what we need to improve on. But let's get this big series win here, boys. Come on. We need to get one game. One game in. First period. one nothing off the get-go. Jamie Benn with a big goal for the uh, for the Dallas Stars. Second period. Nothing. Still one to nothing for the Dallas Stars. So we're playing more of a shutdown hockey game. And Sammy Fucking bad today. He gets a big one for the Dallas Star or for the Chicago Blackhawks. And then Joe Pavelski, he comes right back with a power play goal. Oh, my God, man. It just seems like they just have that that match every single time. The Dallas Stars are just playing overall a better a better game than what we're, we're showing. And, yeah, it just, yeah, this is it. Two, one, and there we go. Chicago has been eliminated in the second round and four games by your Dallas Stars. They really just came in there. We lost Patrick Kane to an injury. They just came in there, and they ripped us to fucking shreds, man. We had no chance against that team. Like, no chance. I mean, we definitely... 
Marlowe Taves, they were really they really were point producer players in the playoffs, but I mean Kane didn't have a single point during the playoffs. I think he maybe had one. Everyone else has kind of struggled. It's just we weren't able to score goals and they were literally kryptonite against us. Vatin, what a fucking beast he was, man. He's definitely a keeper for next year. He was a gorgeous motherfucker. He's definitely a guy that we're definitely gonna have to resign in the next episode. But I mean, we, it is what it is. We got our ass smacked, and what can you do about it? I mean, you really can't do anything about it. And and we showed up a good showing. I mean, we played good hockey. We we kicked ass against the Winnipeg Jets. Now it's time to get into the offseason, which we will do in the next episode. Uh, we're going to do kind of an overview of the playoffs and shit like that and everything uh, in between and get through the draft and see what we can do with the offseason because there's a lot of big decisions that we need to make with this team, of course. Um, we're going to see if, of course, Brent Seabrook will hopefully maybe waive his no movement clause so we could get his massive contract off the team by buying it out or trading it to a team. We'll have to see what we can do with that because, I mean, we really can't afford anybody else. And we got some big contract players coming up, of course, with Dylan Strom. Uh, he wants a new contract. Same with Alex DeBrinket. They both have expiring contracts um, with their new contracts that are coming up. So we're going to have to all worry about that in the next episode, though. But right now, uh, we're going to worry about this one goal and uh, that, that we did really well in the playoffs. And you got to give these guys a pat on the back that they really showed everyone that they're actually a playoff team. They surprised me. I'm pretty sure they surprised everyone else. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Adios, amigos.